I came to this country many, many years ago from a foreign land. And it was a dream, a dream come true somehow. You know, being in a country that offers you the most incredible opportunities. Today, we are confronting so many different crises, but the most important crisis is this crisis that is touching the entire world, this pandemic, and what we are witnessing is crisis after crisis after crisis. And it's a health crisis, it's an economic crisis, it's a social crisis. Everything is bursting out. There must be a reason for that because all over the world I think people have accumulated frustrations for years now. And it's like a perfect storm. We, it's as if we were waiting for something to happen, something that will unite all these energies and will create this explosion that we are witnessing today. You know, I'm a believer in spirituality, in God, in things that we can really put fingers on. And I don't know why, but from all this accumulation of troubles, of anger, maybe of hope also now, there's no way that, this, that these energies are not going to create something positive. I mean, that has repeated itself in history each time. We've seen catastrophic things happen, and then we saw a resurgence of positive energies that will, that have had created huge progress. I don't know what kind of progress we can expect now. I hope, you know, it will be a string of progresses that will include social, economic, political, environmental, and that will, of course technology, that will enhance our civilization. But the most important really is the hope that after all these positive and negative emotions, some sort of unity will come and express itself on all different levels. I said it before, we're only tourists on this earth and we have to realize that our passage on this earth is a transition. And to think that things stay the same will be a mistake because they don't. And even in my work, I always try to introduce this element of change, of disruption, that are constant in our world today. And many of my paintings are about this disruption and change. So I'm looking forward for the next few weeks, months and years to see that the common sense, the goodwill, the positive energies will triumph over any negative or negativity.
everybody has something good to contribute. And this is somehow the way I look at it. There's no bad, that there's no good. There are human beings and everybody with his positive and negative aspects. But altogether, we didn't come up from a few thousand years ago to where we are today if the human mind was not able to create something that is almost revolutionary, which is progress, progress in every field. So, there's a few reflections that all of us probably think about, especially in these times where we have so much to fear about the future, but also so much to rely on the history that has proven to be one that we can only hope to be realized. <laughs>